hello, my name is Alex Ryback. I'm originally from the Soviet Union, from Turkmenistan. It's a Muslim country on the border with Iran and Afghanistan. And uh, me, my wife, and my eight years old kid, we made Aliyah. The reason why I immigrated, it was not a political, it was not a, a Zionist idea. Like, I, I didn't want to go to Israel. I just wanted to escape somewhere from the Soviet Union. But when I made Aliyah in 1991, I was uh, disgusted with this country, with Jerusalem, with people. That's my first uh, uh, impression of the country. First of all, it's very hard to find good job. You don't have home, good home. You don't have jobs. We were really poor here, me, my wife, my kid. And we were struggling to get food and money just to survive. It's very hard. The first year was terrible. My dad is Jewish. In Russia, in, Soviet, in the Soviet Union, your nationality is coming out of your dad. So if your dad is Jewish, you are Jew. If you, and here in Israel, it's vice versa. Here in Israel, they take your nationality only by your mom's nationality. Only if your mom is Jewish, you can be considered Jewish. So it's not my case. My mother is Russian. I am not Jewish by Israeli laws. And what was very frustrating for me personally, the first year or moment when I came to Israel and I received my Teudat Zeut, the ID card, local ID card for Israel, everybody who came with me, they got uh, EUD written in their Teudat Zeut, EUD. I got Rusi, which means Russian. So I'm not a UD, real EUD, I'm not Jewish, so I'm the second grade person, not the first one. Actually, it hit, it hit me very, it, it was a blow, like, uh, under my belly, you know. I, I got so much resentful because of that fact. It got me. I thought, okay, they don't like me here. They don't want me here because I'm not real Jew. I'm Rusi. My inner self was fighting Jerusalem, Israel, Israeli people all the time. That's why I fled from Israel to America in 94. I didn't want to become a, a believer or Christian. I actually hated Christians and people, believers and churches and stuff. And, some, somebody gave me the Bible back then, and I took the Bible, I opened it, and I looked into the Bible, and I saw nonsense. Nonsense, pure nonsense. I didn't understand the word. I thought that that's the writing of the crazy person, because it doesn't make sense. It's like blah, 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 blah. some kind of words after word, didn't make sense at all. So I just threw it away, far away. Now I love Bible and that's the Bible, the word of living God saved my life. Today I can confidently say that because it's true. That's the word, the word of living God, Jesus Christ that saved me and gave me the second chance in life. So. I didn't want to become part of this religion or something, but my life got so bad. I was trying to find the way. I was very desperate. I became a sinner. I became angry person. I was almost like psychopath. I did very many bad things while living with my wife and my two children. And I hated my life and I wanted to escape from that life. So I went to Buddhism, I studied Buddhist meditation, I went to temple in Los Angeles and I spent some time with the Buddhist uh, monks. And it, it didn't help, basically it didn't help. I tried new age, all that meditation stuff, it didn't help at all. So my wife met those two ladies from, Russian ladies from the church 
and they brought us to the church and they made us repent. They said, okay, you're rich. We, we had a beautiful house, two cars. We had money. But inside, I was just dying. I was a wreck. My life was miserable. I felt miserable. So they said, you need Jesus. You need God. Repent and repeat after me. And she just said, repeat after me the sinner's prayer. Dear God, forgive my sins. Come into my life. Uh, I am a sinner. And I repeated this sinner's prayer prayer not believing in anything but I wanted the way out in my life so I did that and then right after that my life went down even more worse so I, now I understand that Satan was just tearing apart my family my life my health everything but um, Jesus came into my life and uh, I started to pray I started to go to church and uh, uh, read Bible every day. I watched only like TBN programs and uh, Christian programs on TV. I stopped watching all worldly like television because I was afraid. Uh, and um, I'm very thankful to God that He gave me this second chance. And um, I don't know, I just felt one day that Jesus came into my heart and I heard this voice. I'm Jesus and it struck me and I from that very moment I understood that Jesus is my Lord he's in my heart and I believe in him and I want to follow him because that's the only salvation because I suffered like a dog like a dog and now I have life and very slowly and gradually very very painfully and slowly my love my life started to go up and up every day since that day it happened 1997 and today is uh, 2016 so it's almost 15 years I'm a believe I am a believer and uh, all those 15 years every single day God improves my life so I'm grateful to God that today I have another life I'm completely totally different different person I minister here in Israel, in Haifa, at the Bible school. And only after I became a believer and I came back from America to Israel in 2005, I started to be okay with this country and with those people because I was a new man, a new creation in, in Jesus Christ. So I saw everything differently after I became a believer.